Let's finish it up using the same diagram. So what I am doing is I'm leaving my image of the abdominal aorta and the place where it splits, and I'm going to try to fit everything else for my leg on this location where we actually split these guys. Descending abdominal aorta branches into a left and right common iliac artery. The common iliac artery, if you think of there being a common, like the common carotid, well, we didn't exactly do that, did we? There is an internal iliac artery and an external iliac artery. The internal iliac artery feeds pelvic structures. It doesn't actually leave the abdomen. The external iliac artery does. It actually passes beneath a structure called the inguinal ligament. And I want to, I think I was doing like anatomical structures um, in black. This inguinal ligament is sort of, we'll see it. It actually, the external iliac artery passes beneath that. And once it emerges on the other side, of course, it has a new name. And its new name, super easy, the femoral artery. And remember that little triangle space where you could see the femoral vein, I mean femoral nerve, and the femoral artery and the femoral vein right there. The femoral artery, of course, is going to go out and branch into many named vessels. We're not going any farther than femoral artery. Once you get all the way out into the lower limb, we have to drain to come back. And so I'm going to draw my draining over here because, look, I've got the inferior vena cava started over here. So let's just go ahead and imagine the inferior vena cava. Um, I must not have it be quite that long. Go away, I say. All right, pen. That's pencil. This is pen. Pen. And again, I have to draw it backwards so that you know that we took blood out the femoral artery, and then we're going to bring it back in through a superficial vein, which is called the great saphenous vein. Um, okay, so let's do great saphenous vein, and it's superficial, which just means it's close to the skin. We have other veins in there, and in fact, the great saphenous vein is going to come in, hmm, and it's actually going to join with the femoral vein. So look at this. This is my femoral vein. The femoral vein is draining leg parts. It's deep. It comes superficial, but it starts deep and it's draining everything else. Saphenous is, is um, going to join into that, but it's draining superficial structures. Nicely, the femoral vein travels right next to the femoral artery. So it actually is going to pass through the inguinal ligament. The femoral vein, once it does that, okay, I'm going to try and do this. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. Once it passes through, it becomes the external iliac, which combines with the internal iliac to form the common iliac. Okay, there. How was that? <laughs> I'm trying to fit it all in there. So this was external iliac vein. This was internal iliac vein. This is common iliac vein. All of them flow into inferior vena cava and back to your lub dub, lub dub, lub dub heart. Okay, you 
rock. And now you've fed and drained all your body parts. Let's call it good. Peace out, doggies. <laughs>